Hello my stamping friends, it's Erica here from Me To You Paper Crafts and I'm coming to you with a card um, inspired by um, a couple of other cards I recently made during a Facebook Live. I did this split card technique where you create a design um, let me just show you these cards. You create a design on a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and then you cut that cardstock in half to create two panels for two cards. So this is what they kind of looked like. So I used um, an eight by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White, and then I stamped this floral design down the middle and then I cut it in half and you end up with two panels for two different cards. So today I want to do the exact same technique except we're going to make a gatefold card um, and we'll um, see how that looks. So I'm going to use the exact same stamp set which is called Blossoms in Bloom. I've just started playing with this stamp set and I absolutely love it. It's got this gorgeous huge uh, flower stamp and a couple of other flowers and leaves and it's got some great all-round occasions um, greetings. You know, happy birthday, thinking of you, sure do miss you, a thank you, get well soon. So this could be a good, um, a good stamp set for beginner stampers. It also comes with a set of dies and I haven't yet used these but there are two humongous um, dies that you can cut out these floral um, images with. So I need to play with that and do another video. So I pulled out my stamp apparatus here because this stamp is so large that if I try and hand stamp it, what if I didn't ink it up well enough and what if it leaves gaps. So that's what the stamp apparatus does is it allows you to re-stamp the same image over and over again. There's no way you could reapply ink onto a previously stamped image and line it up perfectly um, unless you're very very good at that. Um, so what you basically do is I'm going to take this image and decide where to put it on my piece of um, Whisper White. Now this Whisper White measures four by five and a quarter. That's a standard um, layer that goes on top of a card base. So I'm just going to position this on here where I want it. And then I'm going to, uh, let's just move this magnet over a bit. And then I am going to uh, pick it up with the with the door. Okay, this Stamparatus has these hinge doors which are fantastic. So I'm just going to pick this up Now, I've moved my piece of paper towards the middle of my Stamparatus because if you stamp, try and stamp too close to the spine of this um, you don't get a very good image. So I'm just moving this over and I'm remembering that I'm over in this corner here. So I'm just going to reposition that and put in my magnet. Okay, now I've decided to use, I'm going to use a Calypso Coral card base. So I'm going to show you how to cut this for a gatefold. And the two colors I'm using are Calypso Coral and Flirty Flamingo. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to ink up. Now I like to place another, you know, the stamp set case underneath this hinged door just to make it lie a little bit more even for inking. Just makes it a more flat surface than rather than being on an angle. So I'm going to ink this up. And again, when you're using this stamp apparatus, you don't have to worry about really inking it well because you can do it twice. So now I'm going to push this down and I'm going to give it a really good press to hope that I get a good first impression. Okay, and let's lift that up. Okay, so you see I missed a few spots on here. 
So I am going to ink it up again and then um, I'm going to uh, stamp it again. So that is what the Stamparatus is all about right there to show you. I'm going to use my fist and give it another good press. It also helps to re-ink it twice because it deepens, it deepens the color. Okay, so there you have it, and I'm not going to use the Stamparatus anymore for this. I don't need it. So I'm going to remove my piece of paper, and I will clean this up um, a little later. Actually, I might clean it up right now so that I don't get ink on this um, grid pad. So let's just clean that up like that. Okay, moving on to the next step now. Let's just set this aside. So I'm going to pull out my stamp pad. I'm really sad that we no longer sell this stamp pad. It was called our piercing pad, but it makes a great cushion for stamping your photopolymer stamps. That's these clear stamps because they don't have a cushion on the back of them like our red rubber ones do. They need a bit of cushioning underneath. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is start to build out more of the flowers and the leaves on here. So I'm going to use um, this Flirty Flamingo for the smaller flowers. And I'm just going to put a few of these here and there on my card and I'm going to create some um, yellow centers in here. Now we have this stamp set includes um, some little dots just to put for the center of the flowers and I'm going to do that with my memento black but before I do that I'm going to reverse the stamp to get at the solid backing on here and I'm going to use yellow and I'm just going to put in a yellow background. So I'm just going to ink up the back of that stamp and then just add some yellow in here. And then I'll reverse it and I will do the black. Okay. So let me just clean that off and then let's reverse it back to the to the, the, um, the actual stamp image side and I'm going to pull out my black ink and I'm just going to put fill in the centers here. like so. Okay, now there is a smaller center piece here. It's very tiny. It's an, you can easily lose the stamp if you don't keep a good eye on it. And I'm going to, um, I think I'll do a different yellow maybe. Let's try this uh, crushed curry just to give it a bit of contrast. Let's just add a little bit of yellow in here. Okay, and then I'm going to add some green leaves. So I think I will pull down, let's do Granny Apple Green. A nice bright green in here. There's a couple of leaves in this stamp set. I'm just going to use this larger leaf here. And I'm going to do one down here. And 
and I will do another one up here. like so and then I'm think I'm gonna pull in another green let's do um, pear pizzazz no let's not do that's not enough of a contrast let's do um, I'm gonna to have to move the camera a bit sorry about that and I'm gonna pull in my old olive I think and I'll pick up another one of these um, leaves. I have a tiny one here and a larger one. I'm just going to use this tiny one and let me pull in another block and let's just put in some other leaves in here. Maybe that's all I want right now. And then there is this really cute little tiny, there's two of these little tiny flowers here. Little tiny like daisy-like flowers. These are so adorable. And I think I'm going to just fill in some of these white spaces in here. And let me think, I'm gonna pull in another color. Let's pull in, um, Let's pull in Coastal Cabana. Let's see how that works out. And let's put in a few of these little tiny flowers in here. to fill in a bit more of the white space. Okay, that's all I want. So you can pretty well design this however you want and you could probably incorporate any number of your other floral stamps. You're just basically making a big floral image on here. How does that look? Now, this doesn't really have a little center and so I, on my other cards, I used just a black marker and I just filled in a center on these tiny little flowers. Just makes them pop out a little bit more, I think. Okay. All right, so that's basically it. All right, so what you want to do now is this is four inches across, and we're just going to cut that in half. So I'm going to pull out my mini, mini trimmer here, and I'm going to line this up at two inches and I'm going to cut it. All right, so those are my two panels. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to, let's move these out of the way to make some room here because I need to pull out my scoreboard. So here's my scoreboard. And I'm going to take my Calypso Coral, and like I said, this measures, it's half a sheet of cardstock, so it's five and a half by eight and a half, okay? Now, when you do a gatefold card, the gatefold, the, the two middle pieces that meet in the middle, they're two and an eighth inch wide. So you can score this at two and an eighth from each um side all right so i'm going to go two to two and an eighth whoops two and an eighth and then i'm going to rotate it around and do it at two and an eighth again okay and that gives you your gatefold that's the easiest way to do it so now i'm going to fold and i'm going to Burnish the fold. 
like so. So there's your gatefold, okay? And so these panels are going to go on here and I want them to join up right in the middle. So I will be putting them on like this, okay, for the middle piece. Now sometimes, I don't know why, because I, this is a definitely eight and a half inches, but sometimes the gatefold isn't exactly, see there's a bit of, a tiny bit of a gap in here. Tiny bit of a gap, and I don't really worry about that. Um, you could try and hand fold rather than using the scoreboard and just, you know, pull your panels into the center. Um, but I just find using a scoreboard is a lot quicker. So I'm not too worried about the gap in the middle. All right, and all I'm going to do now is, is glue these to the middle of the card. Okay, and then we're going to do a greeting and um, have the greeting overlap the gate. Okay, so now I'm ready to glue these. So let me just pull in my silicone mat and my tape runner here. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm going to open up the card because I want to get it right on the edge. So I'm going to hover so that I can watch the left and the right sides to see that I have an equal amount of space on each. Like so. Okay, and then make sure you orient this the right way. And this is going to go on here like this. So I'm going to do the same thing. Hover this. Let's just make sure. Yes, it's going to go like that. So again, I'm hovering over it and I just want to watch my two sides. Make sure that they're well centered. There we go. Okay, so there you go. There's your gatefold with that split technique down the middle. Okay, so then all we need now is to do um, a greeting. So I wanted to do a happy birthday, and I think I might do um, a large um, circle in the middle. So I'm going to pull out my circle framelits. Now this happy birthday is quite long, and I need some whisper white cardstock. So let's just see, I'm not quite sure how large a circle I'm going to need here. I think that one will work. Now will that fit on the cardstock? Yes, perfect. So I'm going to layer this framelit on here like that. And then I'm going to stamp my greeting on the inside. So I'm going to pull out um, my memento black here. And I'm going to stamp this inside. Now before I cut it out, I think I want to just put a, a few little flowers around here. Or actually maybe I'll go and cut it out first and then I will be right back. Oh, and I'm, before I leave you, I'm going to decide, I think I might do the Calypso Coral. Um, for the matching framelit. So this is how I organize my framelits. I have them color coded. So I need this one to do the scalloped edge. And I'm going to do, um, yeah, the Calypso Coral. So I will be right back. Okay, so I've just trimmed out my Happy Birthday and my Calypso Coral backing. Now before I mount that on there, I want to take out a piece of scrap paper 
because I think this happy birthday could do with some flowers on it. So I may do one of these in the Flirty Flamingo. I may do one sort of like this and let's do another one down here. Okay, and then I'm going to fill that in with the yellow again, the black and the yellow. So let me just take off a bit of ink and reverse it again. Okay, we're gonna use the back of the stamp and we're going to pick up um, the Daffodil Delight, I think was the yellow I used on those. Nope, I've got the wrong stamp. My apologies, that's not the right stamp. I need that tiny little one. This one is for the bigger one. So that's not right. This tiny one I need. And in that case, I think I had used so saffron, hadn't I? Yes, let's do this one. Just a dab of yellow in there. Okay. And then let's do a few of these little tiny leaves. And these were in the darker green. See, I've got ink on the edge here, so I'm going to wipe that off before I stamp because if I happen to rock the stamp accidentally, you don't want to rock the stamp, but I could end up with ink where I don't want it. So it's best if you see that, just wipe it off. See, look how much prettier that is when you add a little bit more... Um, stamping on your greeting. I love doing that. And I think I'm just going to add a few of these little tiny um, flowers in here too. Just to pull in that calypso coral. Just like that. Oh my goodness, that is very sweet. Okay. I'm going to pull in my black pen again. Just give that a little dot in there. Okay, so now I can, um, I'm going to glue this onto my scallop. I should have used Tombow glue because you have time to move it around to really center it well when I'm doing these uh, dies, these layering dies, it's better to use Tombow glue. Okay, and then I think I'm going to mount this on a couple of dimensionals and you only want to do it on the one side, right? One side here. like this, okay? And then I'm going to pull back my card in and close the gatefold and center it in the middle like so. And there's your gatefold card. Isn't that pretty? So same technique as I did on the Facebook Live. So if you go to visit my Facebook page, um, it's called From Me To You Paper Crafts, you can pick up the replay of this video to see these cards that I made. And I made actually two sets. So I made, um, I made um, a purple set. So that was the, uh, the stamping in the middle and then I cut it in half. And then I made a set in the pink as well, just to show you here, like that. Okay, so you can go and check that out.
Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying uh, this video tutorial, you may want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, if you want to get notified whenever I post another YouTube um, video, then you can click the bell and that uh, serves as your notification. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you, um, like I said, enjoyed the card. I'm going to go and put a panel on the inside and decorate an envelope now. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Bye for now.